I'm back from Anaheim, of course. Um, and back from the, the shops again. And I was given this little contraption here. This is an antenna mover for TV antennas or ham radio antennas or whatever for moving your Yagi around, I guess, or your, your antenna, television analog antenna around. Transmit, receive, direction, control by high gain. It's got a nice meter on it here. It's your calibration. Power on and off, counterclockwise and clockwise. Brake release. You have to mash brake release and you know it's yeah. Um southwest, north, east, the max south. Each division is five degrees. Kind of a chunky thing. Um, crap on this. Oh. Just random parts all over the bench. On the back is Ham 4 and a CD 45 to 120 volts. It's got something modded up with it. 15 amps, 120 volts, properly grounded cable. Refuse. I can't get this open. There it goes. What is this? Hmm. Probably a couple of amps or so. Again, come on, come on. Got a grounding lug here, and it's got the port that carried the crap. Carries the DC, uh, the current out, the DC out, I'm assuming. Control the motor. I do have the rotor part, but it's outside and you know, it's a mess. I won't be bringing that in, that's <laughs> for another time. So I'm gonna jump cut and we'll pull the top off of this. Now something's rattling around in it. So I'll be right back. Okay, we got it open. And right off the bat, you can see this big capacitor here. This motor, I guess it's a start capacitor for the motor. I mean, it's going out to the output plug. But anyway... Another interesting thing is, is this thing has a mains transformer here just for the lamp. Just for the meter lamp that's right here. Maybe we would tie it into there. But, you know. <laughs> there's switches, meter, or motor transformer here. Mains just comes in on these leads here. It's under the bottom of this. There's our leads, there's our controls, and each of these switches, just a rocker switch, this completes the circuit, releases the brake, and then you move, there, there's the fuse for the meter, it brings back, and then it you know, does the metering and uh, things here. It's quite simple, pretty straightforward thing. It's heavy. It's metal. And uh, your calibration. Meter calibration. So if you know you're directly north, you would calibrate this thing against the north. I haven't plugged it in. I don't think I will. <laughs> Actually, I think you need to have the rest of it. I know I plug it in, the, the light will come on. But I think you need to have the rest of the uh, contraption together. Oh, no, that's getting light in there. Hmm. It's interesting. I wonder how that's getting light because this whole thing is black. 
Oh, I see. It's clear up there. So this this one turns the light on and off. This moves the machine. These are mains coming in. Fuse. Oh, this one. Just for the lamp, though. That's, I feel like I could use a multi tap here, but. This is a pretty decent transformer too. It's each winding in there has got insulation on it. It's not like just all wound up. It's got a thermistor, circuit breaker on it. I guess it's just your regular old. Uh, I don't know, probably twelve nine volts, twelve volts or something. Let me put what the bulb says. Bulb doesn't say. 1819. Hmm. Can't read that, huh? It says 1819 and then SE4 on this bulb. Appears to be good. Well, I don't imagine this thing so much use anyway. Um. I don't know. I might tear it down. I mean, I don't have a use for it. But, um, yeah, it's the uh, high gain antenna rubber mover, and mover control. It's absolutely dirty. Start dust all over it. Some useful bits in here. So, this toggle switch here in the front. Of course, this meter is good for something. Just put another different backing on it. Uh, fuse holders, transformers are always good. Bulbs, capacitors, rocker switches. I don't know. I'll figure out something with it. Alright, until next time.